So we're learning more today about the Justice Department report into the Ferguson Police Department. The full report is coming out tomorrow, but we're learning today about uh, how the investigation has turned up widespread practices and patterns of racial bias in the police department in Ferguson, the jail and the court system. It's a criminal justice system that according to the uh, Justice Department is stacked against minorities. Blacks are uh, victims routinely of uh, excessive force. There's a separate investigation that's also expected to be announced soon. That's an investigation to the actual shooting of Michael Brown by Officer Darren Wilson. Uh, we certainly don't expect uh, federal criminal charges in that case. It's a very high bar that federal prosecutors would need to cross and we're not anticipating that they'll meet that standard. Assuming that the Ferguson uh, city officials uh, accept the findings of the report and agree to make changes. This could be a roadmap for, for broad and sweeping reforms in the uh, police department. Should they contest it or oppose it or, or refuse in some way, then the Justice Department have the prerogative to take them to court. This is really the culmination of a months long investigation that really touched off a debate about race and policing um, all across the country. So this is a pretty significant milestone uh, now six months after the fact.